When working on your WordPress website, you might want to have options in your menu that are actually not clickable. Maybe they're a placeholder that just shows a drop down menu. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. You have found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. If this tutorial helps you, be sure to check out over 500 videos I have here on my channel. Click like and subscribe and come back here with me every single Wednesday. Let's get to the tutorial. Jessica sent in a question asking, Corey, how do you make a menu option not have a link on it? How do you remove that link? I'm gonna show you really easily how to do it right now. No plugin required. You wanna go into your dashboard and go to your menus section. Underneath appearance menus, you want to be certain that you're choosing the correct menu that you want to change. I've got a lot of options here and I want to add in that request option to build out that example I just showed you. In order to do that, you'll want to use something called custom links. Do you see that here on this left side navigation? Take a look and see if yours is visible inside of your dashboard. If it's not, it just might be hidden. Let's scroll up to the top and let's activate that to be sure that you have access to it. In this top right hand corner, you should see something that says screen options. Open this little drawer and be certain that custom links is checked so that that function is available. Zip that drawer back up and now you should have it for you right here on this left side. Let's open up that drawer. Go ahead and type in the word or words. I would ask that you keep it kind of short for your linked text. But this is going to require that we put in a URL or a link so that it becomes clickable. Well, we don't want that. So the workaround is a very simple hashtag. Put in a pound sign and click add to menu. That's going to allow it to shift over and drop down to the bottom part of your menu. Drag that option to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to put some drop down options underneath it. And now you'll notice that it says request is a custom link. Let's go ahead and go one step further, open that drawer and we can remove that hashtag. Zip that back up. Let's click save menu and jump back to the front side of our website to be certain that everything is working properly. And again, you'll see that example where request cannot be clicked on, but all of the drop down options work perfectly. Y'all, I hope this has been helpful for you. My entire channel is dedicated to helping you improve your online marketing if you're using WordPress. Be sure to check out my playlists on SEO, social media marketing, and freelancing. I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.